Sure. Sure. Um, uh, I have been asked to, this year to come to TechEd to do three sessions, which is just fantastic. I uh, started out doing a session on uh, RDS, Remote Desktop Services, and, and specifically how you can take your existing terminal services infrastructure and just extend it into the cloud to cloud enable your applications. It's actually remarkably easy to do with some of Microsoft's tools. Uh, just come out of a session just now on iSCSI and how to improve performance and availability in iSCSI. A great session, completely packed the ballroom, which was just fantastic. I had a great time with that session. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm doing another session on branch cache, which uh, is, I think, as we all know, the technology that you can use to speed up the connectivity between your main office and then your remote offices. So, uh, Concentrated Tech, um, we've been around for, oh gosh, four or five years now. Uh, it's a company, there are two senior partners, myself and Don Jones, as well as some other writers that write for us. We like to think of ourselves as an, as an IT analyst firm, a content development firm too. So, there are a lot of, there are so many vendors out there in the space these days, and really figuring out which of those vendors well, which ones you should trust and which ones maybe have not really matured to the point they need um, can be a hard thing. And what, what we've done with Concentrated Tech is we've tried to develop a company, particularly for you know, people that are in need of assistance, like strategic consulting or strategic level assistance, is to create a group of people that are not really tied to any one particular vendor. We're not partners with Microsoft. We're not partners with VMware, Citrix, or what have you. And so we're a company where people can come to and get straight advice that's not tainted by vendor bias. We do a lot of training. We travel the country all the time, and you'll find us around at all these conferences, many, many conferences a year. And in fact, one of the things we do, which is kind of cool, um, all of the conferences that we teach at throughout the year, we give away all our slide decks for free. So, you know, rare is the IT person that gets to go to all of them. But if you go to concentratedtech.com, that's uh, concentratedtech.com, um, all of the slide decks that we put together for all of these conferences will be available and you can download it for free. Well, and you can almost take it one step further too. You know, training these days is, tends to be very technically oriented. So the training you get is what buttons to click. But what I think a lot of IT pros these days need is not only what buttons to click, but why you would want to click them, and, and in what sorts of situations make sense for that, that button to click. So the types of training that we do, so when you engage with a concentrated tech, for example, all of our training is customized or personalized. It's not a, we're not going to show up with a workbook and then flip through the workbook page by page like you would see at some of the other large training facilities. Instead, what we do is we design instruction for you, very reasonably priced, and bring your entire staff, and it's a combination of classic training um, mentoring, so over the shoulder come mentoring, and even some consulting on your own equipment also. So what you get is, you get obviously the training you're looking for, but also in some ways a strategic consulting engagement that helps you understand the assets that you have and how to connect them together in ways that make more sense for your business. I mean, 2011, you, you can't not say the word cloud these days. And admittedly, the word cloud, you know, that word, I think, in the early days of IT kind of almost hindered people moving into the cloud because it was so nebulous and nobody could really put their finger on what cloud and cloud products were. These days, however, we're really seeing a lot more types of products that you can touch and see and feel related to cloud. Um, there are services in the cloud. Right? There are applications I can put in the cloud. And now there is this evolving sort of embrace of, uh, I have some things that are here in my data center, and then sometimes I may have the need to involve other people's data centers in the public cloud. And then sometimes I might need to connect the two with some sort of hybrid cloud arrangement. And we are really developing this we're moving in the right direction. So we are finally getting to the point where we can make smart decisions about where we locate our, our workloads, our applications, 
um, based off of the needs of the user. Right? Does it make more sense for that application to exist in my data center or in somebody else's? And, and it's different for everybody. There's no one right answer for everybody. The whole cloud thing, as nebulous as it's been for so long, is really becoming concrete these days, really crystallizing it as something that's very powerful for business. Yep, always more conferences and always more travel involved and plenty of writing too. Uh, I think I leave here uh, and I've got another conference going on in, uh, in Germany and London uh, coming up after this. Uh, and then after that, a whole road show going on um, with uh, a couple of partners, uh, really specifically focused on virtualization and the cloud also. So plenty of travel coming up and you can always find my writing in, in a lot of the IT magazines, whether it be Redmond Magazine at uh, realtimepublishers.com, uh, on Tech Target, any of those locations, you can usually find new articles from me on about a weekly basis. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's, it's, every person's definition of extreme is probably different, right? Uh, I have I have done a lot of uh, mountain climbing and mountain biking. Uh, there are, so my only claim to fame is uh, there are 54 14,000 foot mountains in Colorado. So of the however many thousand peaks or so in Colorado, there are 54 of them that rise above 14,000 feet. And in Colorado, they're called the 14ers. And one of the, the big deals is to actually have finished them. And about two years ago, I finally finished the last one. So 54 of them done. I have about 146 separate ascents above 14,000 feet. I've done Kilimanjaro and I've done Rainier and a bunch of other mountains as well. So if, you, if that's extreme to you, I guess that uh, that's, that uh, could be ex considered an extreme sport. But I like the outdoors.